In this video I'll run through the steps that I used to install the Reolink IP camera. And this is just an overview of my setup. I have the IP camera that will be plugged in directly to a Netgear PoE switch and I will be using a Synology as my NVR. The first step is to tape up the template where you'd like the camera to go and begin drilling out the mounting holes using a 3 16th inch drill bit. For the cable pass through I used a 3 quarter inch spade drill bit. Next you want to feed the ethernet cable through, uh, in this case the attic where the camera is going to be and plug the camera into that cable. Now on the other end of that cable you will see that it goes to my Netgear PoE switch where it powers the camera directly only using the one cable which then is connected to my Synology rack station. In my opinion it's always a good idea to tape up the connections to prevent any debris from entering uh, those connections. Uh, the easiest way to insert this back in through that hole you drilled is by doing so one at a time. I inserted the ethernet cable first, then the power adapter, and then finally the recess switch. After that the rest of the cable will go up quite easily and you can begin installing uh, the camera itself. Now the screws included were kind of weak so I used larger screws and installed them that way. You can adjust the camera here and get the correct angle of what you want to see. I did this by using the DS Cam app for my phone and that way I could see what I was doing as I was adjusting the camera as needed. Once you get the camera adjusted how you'd like, you might want to blow out the inside of the camera with a can of air uh, to clean out any debris. At this point you can now screw on the cover of the camera itself and you're ready to go.